Although most Korean actors are showered in love by their fans, some of them are known for not returning the favor. The first actor that probably comes to mind is Kim Yoo Jung, who was under fire for being disrespectful towards her fans back in 2016. Most of Yoo Jung's roles show her in a good light, so it came as a shock when she was criticized for her rude attitude. On December 22nd in 2016, word came out that Yoo Jung had canceled quite a few events on her schedule due to a severe cold. The events in question were promotional interviews for her drama Because I Love You. This was unfortunate, but it wasn't the biggest problem that she had to deal with, because around the same time, a very questionable post started circulating online. The online post was titled, Kim Yoo Jung's Stage Manner Attitude, and contained an official preview screening of Because I Love You that was held on December 20th. Netizens immediately took to the internet to complain about Yoo Jung's behavior during the screening. It said that Yoo Jung acted uninterested and distracted while everyone was formally greeting the audience on stage. They pointed out that she kept looking at her nails and that she was leaning on one leg instead of standing up straight. However, it was also pointed out that she did greet the audience with a formal bow later on. Some netizens felt offended by her attitude and commented, it would have been better if she had been a little more courteous. Others came to her defense and wrote, if you only look at the video, it can look like that, but the actual atmosphere in the room was good and it was not very problematic. Regardless of whether Yu Jong actually meant to disrespect her fans, the situation caused enough turmoil that a response from her agency was necessary. As an apology, her agency wrote, she's fully aware of all the problems that have arisen online about the preview screening, and she's currently deeply reflecting on her own attitude as a result of the controversy. It's still debatable whether Yu Jong actually meant to be rude, but it doesn't seem like the controversy damaged her career too much. There's no denying that it's hard to take pictures with all the fans you come across, and Kim Won Hyo knows all about that. Fans often approach celebrities to ask for photos or autographs, but regrettably, many public figures have encountered some seriously awkward situations as a result. In Won Hyo's case, he was attending a wedding of an acquaintance when fans came up to him and asked for pictures. One of the fans managed to score a picture with Won Hyo and posted this on their SNS, but also complained about his attitude. Criticizing him for his lack of effort and enthusiasm, the fan wrote, He said he had to go see the bride and groom instead of taking pictures with us. Then he came back and took just one photo. Does taking a photo take up to three seconds? In an attempt to belittle Won Hyo, this person added, Did he think he was Kim Soo Hyun or Park Bo Gom? Won Hyo eventually spoke up about the situation and explained that he was the host of the wedding ceremony, so it was his duty to see the bride and groom first. He spent about 20 minutes taking pictures with fans, but they didn't think that was enough and called him all kinds of rude names. While some people believe Won Hyo could have paid a little more attention to his fans, others think that it was actually these fans that were rude towards him. Considering it was a personal event and he had an important task to fulfill, they were kind of invading his personal space. Especially keeping in mind that he didn't fully ignore them and even took pictures with some. Now on to Lee Jong Sok who proved that even the biggest names in the industry can have a bad day sometimes. Did you know that he was accused of ignoring his fans back in 2014? So basically what happened is that Jong Sok was just about to leave Korea for an event overseas, but there was a female fan waiting for him at the airport. This fan waited until he arrived so that she could give him a gift. Reportedly, when she approached him, she tugged at his arm, which caused security to get between them. Allegedly, Dong Suk was so taken aback by the situation that he jerked his arm loose and continued to walk into the airport. This little moment between them was photographed, and once the picture was spread all over the internet, netizens had a lot to say. People were accusing him of ignoring the fan, and even criticized him for having a cold-hearted attitude. Giving their two cents on the situation, someone wrote, he went too far by jerking his arm away from his fans present. The situation got so out of hand that his agency was forced to release a statement for clarification. They firmly stated that Jong Suk didn't ignore the fan by any means. They explained that he was moving so quickly because he was worried that he wouldn't make his flight on time. They added, he was holding coffee when someone suddenly came close to him and grabbed his clothes, so he jerked his arm away out of surprise. Jong Suk later on also released an apology of his own and wrote, I didn't see the fan that tried to give me a gift, and when someone pulled my arm, I thought that of course it was my manager and pulled my arm away. I had no idea was a fan. It's clear that you have to watch your every step as a celebrity because anything can be interpreted as rude behavior. Next up is another seriously questionable situation involving Park Hyung Sik. He was known to be very warm and welcoming towards his fans when he was still promoting as an idol under Daya. But netizens pointed out that he had a change in attitude once he started acting. This became especially obvious when he was filming for High Society. Allegedly, he ignored fans while filming, and he was even heavily criticized by media outlets for not paying enough attention to them. This all happened back in August of 2015 after Hyung Sik had just wrapped up filming for the drama. Reportedly, lots of media outlets attempted to hold interviews with him, but to their dismay, 
he gave the reporters very short or thoughtless answers. It got to the point where some outlets didn't even use the material hyung -ji gave them to write an article, and instead they took to the press to complain about his attitude. Some reporters acknowledged that hyung -shik looked exhausted, so they assumed that he was just too tired to properly answer. And although they kept this in mind while interviewing him, they couldn't help but feel frustrated about how little effort he put into the interviews. According to one of the media outlets, hyung -shik's agency apologized for his lackluster attitude. They said, hyung -shik has a lot of concerns lately. He's having a hard time because he has a lot of schedules. Later on, he also apologized for not paying enough attention to his fans while filming the drama. He said, Since I was so absorbed in portraying Yu Tong Su, I basically lived my life as Yu Tong Su from the moment I decided to take the role to the moment high society ended. Basically, what he was trying to say is that he was so caught up in portraying his character well that he kind of forgot about his other responsibilities as an actor. He added, My heart towards my fans has never changed. Trying to justify my actions may cause a bigger understanding, but it bothers me so much that I really want to say this. Young Sheik ended his statement by saying that he's the same person no matter whether he's acting or singing, and he definitely still loves his fans. Although everyone absolutely loved her character in 2521, Kim tae has actually been accused of being an incredibly rude actress in general. Allegedly, both fans and staff members have suffered from her impolite attitude. Back in December of 2022, a media outlet conducted a survey with about 34 film industry reporters to determine who takes home the prize of being South Korea's rudest celebrity. After the results came out, it turned out that Tae was in second place, and reporters had lots of bad things to say about her. She was criticized for doodling during interviews, and journalists also pointed out that she often acted as if she was superior to others. In other words, she allegedly feels like she's better than everyone else, no matter if they're fans or reporters. To give a more thorough explanation, one of the journalists wrote, It seems like she has Nahido disease. She acts like a free-spirited person, but it's just an excuse to not pay attention and act unprofessional. What they're trying to say is that Tae seems to have inherited her character's immature traits. It's also been said by reporters that she has bad-mouthed directors before, but there hasn't been any concrete incidents where she was actually caught red-handed. Last on the list is Bae Suzy, who was slammed back in 2013 for her careless attitude during the NBC Drama Awards. That year, Suzy won the Top Excellence Award for her performance in Goo Family Book, and let's just say that not everyone was impressed with her award speech. Both netizens and media outlets pointed out that she was being incredibly disrespectful towards her seniors and fans at home because it didn't seem like she was taking the award seriously. Suzy was criticized for constant swaying, giggling, and serious lack of preparation. During the speech, it looked like she didn't know what to say at all, which, according to some, made her seem very immature. The host of the night even attempted to help her with her speech, but that didn't exactly work out either. While some fans came to her defense claiming that she was just nervous, others completely tore her apart for her careless attitude. Which actor do you think is the rudest? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye!